Hi everybody, hope everybody is well. Right now we're gonna concentrate on moving forward with our shirt and we're going to do number 27 through 30. So 27 is right here. We're gonna focus on the hem and then 28, we're gonna do the front band. So make sure that you have this interfaced and then we're going to sew it onto um, the hem. I'm gonna show you how to do that and then attach it to the front band, all right? So you need to have your piece 13. You need to have your two front bands and I already went ahead and I turned under 3 eighths of an inch or a half inch on both sides and pressed it. And these have interfacing already attached to it. You can't see it because it's just, it's just attached. So it's already attached. So you need your two bands on one of the edges. Go ahead and turn it a half inch. And then you also need your shirt. So I'm gonna take you over to my sewing machine. So follow me. And I have it set up as just a regular straight stitch. You can figure out what you, how you need to do that on your own machine. So the first thing that we're gonna do is sew our hem. And what I have done is at the bottom of your hem, it should look like this. It might not be surged, but I need you to turn it up a quarter of an inch and press it down all the way around. And then I want you to turn it up again, a quarter of an inch and turn it all the way, press it all the way around your shirt. Okay. And it might be helpful to press it up a half inch all the way around first and then go back and press it up again a half inch like this. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew our hem. And if you need to pin this, go ahead and pin it. And I'm sewing right along the edge, making sure that none of my raw edges are showing. any pins because I felt that my iron did a really good job of pinning down my seam for me that I did not need to use any pins. But if you feel like you need to use pins, then by all means. It's just really tricky when you have those curves. giving it a haircut. Okay, so we have our shirt right here like this. Now normally you would take your front band and you would attach it to here. We are going to take our front band and we're going to put our right side of our front band to the wrong side of our shirt the right side of our front band to the wrong side of our shirt. And I'm gonna match it up here at the beginning. And I'm not too worried about this notch. And if you need to put 
add some but you should have a mark right here and you can see that my front band hangs off of right above the um, hem and that's exactly how you want it to be that's right and you can go ahead and pin if you want to and we're going to stitch five eighths the wrong side of our band or right side of our band to the wrong side of our shirt five eighths and you can see that i have put a piece of tape right here to mark my five eighths, that might be wise for you to do if you cannot see your five eighths. I was having a hard time finding my five eighths, so I felt it easier just to put a piece of tape there as my guide. Go ahead and stitch those together. here go ahead and back stitch and then take it out okay now your next step is to press this seam towards towards your band right here press this towards your band if you can okay because this will eventually go over that like this. See how I'm folding it over onto itself. But the first thing that we have to do is tend to the bottom. We can't leave the bottom like this. So you're going to take and you're going to put these two pieces together like this on your front band, fold it right sides together and you're going to stitch across starting right here all the way across and i just want to turn my flywheel to get it in position should be five eighths you can see how i am lined up with that five eighths mark Oop, i'm in reverse and I'm back stitching. All right. All right. So now I'm going to take and I'm going to cut that corner like that. Cut off that corner. And if you want to trim this seam, don't trim it too much. Just trim it halfway. See, I only trimmed the seam half of what it is right here, right? And then flip it to the other side. You should have a nice corner right there. And what I like about this is, look, you're, here is my, here is my hem and the collar band is going right over that hem and you have this nice sharp, edge right here. I like that. Now, the last thing to do with our front band is, remember, the seam allowance. It needs to be pressed towards your front band. Go ahead and start pinning. I want the fold of this to go right over the stitching line right here. I don't want to see any stitching line and just go ahead and start pinning this down like that. This is where we will top stitch again. If you've done it wrong, you can't go like this. Don't do that. Make sure that it's tucked inside of the front band. It is a little bulky here, 
So just be aware of that. But you can see that my front band is a different color than, oh, it's a bad pen, than most because um, I couldn't find that pattern piece. So I had to cut out a contrasting color. Okay, so here's our last one. And we're going to just top stitch straight down right along the edge. Now, the best way to top stitch is, this is how I like to top stitch. I take my foot and I put it right along the edge that I want to follow along my foot and put it there. And then I'm gonna go up to my needle. And if you can, I'm gonna move my needle over. And as I'm doing that, you can watch my needle move over to the edge. Okay, so that's now my guide just to leave it here. And my needle is over to where I'm going to be top stitching. I am top stitching right on over my needle, my um, pins if you... that my machine is chugging away and it's just, it is very bulky right here and then you're going to stop once you're at the bottom yes back stitch so your front band should look like this this is the band that we're going to put our buttonholes on now you can choose to top stitch going straight down if you would like. Once again, if you wanna do that, I'm lining up the edge of my presser foot to the edge of this band, and I'm gonna take my needle and I'm gonna move it all the way over to the edge as far as I can go. Most machines have this feature. If you don't have this feature, then just line it up with whatever you, you can. I like to do two rows of top stitching on the band. I think it looks a lot more professional. You can choose to do this if you want to, but you definitely have to have it on this side. This is a great way to practice your stitching too. Okay. All right, so it looks like this. See my band? It looks like this. And make sure that you cut all of that and give it a haircut. All right, so you have one band done. This is what it will look like on the back. There'll be no raw edges on the back. Everything is tucked inside of this band right here. Okay, so you have two front bands that you need to get done. All right. So this will be up on the YouTube channel. And once you're finished with this, then we're going to go on to the collar band and the collar. Happy sewing.